It's 93.9 WKYS, your favorite Taylor Little Bacon Bear. Hanging out with another winner of KYS Versus, Mr. Jay-Z. Round of applause for Jay-Z himself. It's your boy. <laughs> nah, okay, Free Jacob. Congratulations on your win, bro. Appreciate it, man. Washington Slizzards. I feel like I got to start off with that because one of my first winners of uh, KYS Versus was Washington Slizzard. So shout out to Ross Nebu. That's my guy. Yeah, it's my big bro, Ned, man. But I also kind of felt like that was why you was going to win. I wasn't worried about you winning. Because yeah. the Slizzers got a team behind them. Free Jacob got a team behind them. And you definitely got this win in the back. So yeah. congratulations. That's the uh, that's the free hive. That's what I like to call them. The free hive? What do you mean? Yeah. What does that mean? Like the beehive. The free hive. The Future free hive. hive. The free hive. Yeah. Okay. So is that something you developed yourself or did the people develop that for you? Uh, I mean, that's what I just call my supporters. Play off the beehive. Like Beyonce, Freyonce. It the, fits. Um, and how long have you been uh, rapping, Mr.? Free Jacob? I've been rapping probably since I was about 13, 14, but I didn't really start recording until I was about, well, I want to say 15, 16, but it was just, it was playful, nothing serious like it is now. And how old are you now? 23. 23, so that makes yeah. a little less than 10 years, I think that's like 8 years? Yeah, but I would say seriously for probably about 2 years now. Seriously? So before that, what were you doing? I was just having fun. <laughs> it was you just know? a recreational sport. Yeah, I mean, it's it's still the same thing now, but you got to find a good balance. A good balance. And do you feel like you found your good balance now? I feel like I'm still finding it. I was able to find my sound because, you know, one thing that, that people would always tell me is don't listen to too many rappers because you're just going to sound, sound like, like them. Sound like them. But I didn't follow that advice, but it was good advice. So I can see why they would say that. So you still find inspiration from other artists, but... It's still Jacob sound. Yeah, as far as my sound, but the content, I just pull that inspiration from my life, man. Like, is there any sound that you could compare your music to for someone who's listening right now who is not familiar with a free Jacob? Um, I wouldn't even do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm free Jacob. I'm myself. You're yourself. Uh, I'm not the most conscious rapper, but I do have some some conscious type stuff in there. Like, pay attention to what you do, but I also have my. I want to, can I cut? Yeah. Let go. Bad? Yeah. I also have my, you know, let's fuck some bitches tonight. Let's go get wasted. Let's wake up and not remember what happened. Let's have a good time for real. Yeah. Like YOLO. I mean, that's just a part of life, though. Like I said, it's my life. I have Everybody has their moments where they're like, damn, let's save the world. Then you got your moments where you're like, damn. Ow, it's a hot girl summer. Ow. Right? Facts. That's what mine looks like. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's my while and out. What is your save the world? What uh, do you love? What do my you save the world is saving the DMV one artist and one song at a time. Okay. That's that's my contribution, I guess, in a sense. Are you trying to filter out the the bad? Because I, I was watching your live the other day. You were going yeah. on somebody. She uh, was the, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, now at this point, I'm just getting to like uh, where there are artists. That I feel it is almost necessary that I let you know how bad this sounds. I mean, it's always like subjective because mm -hmm. I mean, just because I think it's bad doesn't mean that somebody else thinks it bad. Thinks it's bad, but I can unanimously say that the shit I've been putting in my Instagram story has been actually bad. Yeah, facts like factually I, bad. One of those songs, it was crazy. It was like a Indian guy rapping over a trap beat, yep. but he tried to make it like yep. a electric song. It was a gospel song, actually. No way. It was a gospel That's song. crazy. It's I'm, a gospel Okay, song. that makes sense then. I get it. It was really bad. Okay. I won't even say his name. I won't say his name. I won't say nothing about him because I don't want to tell. Man, we're showing love. Go download that guy's song. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even going to do that to him because he didn't win and you did. Hey, yeah, I did. Now, um, I do know that your first round of KYS Versus started while you had a show. Yeah. How did you pull that off? pull off a win like while <laughs> on stage? Stage. I wasn't on stage, but you probably hit me about two hours before the show started. Yeah. Maybe like an hour, honestly. And I was like, fuck. So when you were hearing your wins on that night, go back to that. Okay, so the night of the show, you DM me an hour, hour and a half before. I was still trying to put together a last minute promo for the show, honestly. But I mean, I had to make it do what it do. And honestly, that was the closest round, you know. The first one. Yeah. But then all the rest of them were just like, solid, easy, Land just size. been to be brief. Nah, I don't even think like that. Because I know, like, for real, you know, nothing's given to nobody at, Absolutely. The, at the end of the day. So I was like, look, my man's are telling me, he's like, you good? You good? I'm like, nah, nigga, we going hard. Like, real hard. <laughs> I don't care. We could be going up against somebody who... Established. Estab no, nah, like, non-established. I still need everybody, like, the lowest to the low. He only got one friend. I don't care. We're going to kill him. We got to. 
Yeah. Well, because I mean, there's been artists that have stepped into KYS verses that I would think would be surefire wins, and then they take a vicious hell, and then it's like, you know, it's hearsay. Yeah. When it's all said and done, what does Free Jacob want to be remembered as? And I didn't ask you where you were from specifically, so you could tell me. I'm from Uptown, D.C. Uptown! I mean, I moved around a lot, spent some time in like Riggs Park as a kid, mm -hmm. Uptown, bounced back and forth, but Uptown, yeah. When you're finding your inspiration for music, do you find it in the ruckus or when the dust settles? Man, I got a song, Bottom of the Bottle, Frank right here, actually. <laughs> I start the song off. I yeah. say, I don't even remember the night. Frank had to tell me about that night. And that's for real. He had to tell me about the night. <laughs> so is that reckless? It was after, yeah. Okay. Um, when it's all said and done, what does Free Jacob want to be remembered as? I just want to be remembered as somebody who's true to himself, you know? I don't ever want to get caught up in anything and any type of hype, you know? I'm myself. I want to do good to my city, my neighborhood. I want people to make it out just like, you know, I hopefully will. I was going to say, what was your upbringing like? Uh, I mean, I feel like everybody's like, yeah, I came from the slums. I came from the trench. But, I mean, you know, you know, was your experience like that? Man, I can't lie. We was like three, four people in the bed for a good amount of my life. Like, <laughs> it was really trenchy. I got a bad story. So you have a honey smacks? Yes. So we had roaches smacks. in the crib. Yeah. And if you ever had roaches in the crib, you put they the, get in your cereal. Yeah, because you got to put the cereal on the refrigerator. And honey smacks look smack like them small little oh, roaches. No! This is this is this is probably when I was like six, seven, eight. Oh. I ain't I ain't eat a roach, but I mean, you, you know, might've. midway through my life, we was able to move up. I moved in with my uncle, and uh, things were great from there. And now you're here. Yeah, I really appreciate him, and my aunt, for that. It was big. I got to <laughs> I got to move up town. You got to get out up out the hood and yeah. up out the honey smacks. I hope that your journey never looks like that ever again. Um, is there anybody that you draw inspiration from, from like your friends, your family, people like musical influences, that kind of thing? Literally, my family and my close friends, and even people who don't know they're inspiring me. Like I might take some from this interview. I might see her in the back with the orange on and be like, man, I like orange now. She wore it right. Something like that. You never know. It's just life. I'm trying to like write stuff down more that I see and that inspires me or lines that I think about, but stuff gets lost. So you're just you're just free flowing. Free, just free wherever, Jacob. Wherever, I was yeah. I know that sounds like no pun intended, but like you just wherever it lands, you you're happy, right? Yeah. Um, is there any uh, shout outs that you want to pass on to the DMV or people that you want to thank for this win? Because that was a flawless win. Man, Easy. People, I have to thank. Uh, first off, let me thank my manager Betzela. You know he. He tells me about these things, so thanks to him. <laughs> Frank right here. My man Marcus, he was big. Mark, I spent the day with him voting. Najee, Jose, Tramel, because I forgot to shout you out on Facade. Big shout out to you. Uh, Kane, her family, everybody, man. Just appreciate the love. I also want to get your social media so people can see what a Free Jacob looks like. Because I feel like you need to also, ladies, if you're listening right now, y'all need to see Free Jacob because he's got great hair. His hair is like... Luxurious. And I'm, and I need you to drop your hair routine at some point. So uh, can you do that on IG? Organics coconut shampoo. <laughs> I just use some mixed chicks uh, hair moisturizer, whatever it is. I just use some of that uh, today before I came here. Well, but. I'm gonna have to smell it, ladies. I'm gonna let you know for sure. But um, what's your IG also, Free Jacob? Instagram is free dot Jacob. So free period Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Twitter is the free Jacob.